Hello, what's up good people? Good to see you once again. Now, there are only three logical ways on how you can be rich in life, all right? And I know it's everyone's dream who you're watching this video and you'd like to be one day have what we call the financial freedom. And guess what? I'm going to share exactly that information, those three ways on how you can actually get yourself out of that thing where you are in terms of the comfort zone and get yourself to that place that you always admire in terms of the wealth creation. And I'm going to share with you in this order from number one, two, and the third one. Number one and two may not favor everyone here but rest assured that number three or the option number three it's actually applicable to anyone who is out there and who is watching this specific video because I'm gonna share with you strategically and how exactly you can apply it and get yourself out of the place you are and actually go ahead and achieve that what you call the financial freedom but guess what I have a lot of good things coming actually on this channel and I don't want you to miss any of it all right so this is what I want you to do by the way it doesn't cost you anything and doesn't take even a lot of time it takes only one second this is what I want you to do because I don't want you to miss one of my good videos just go down below there on your right there is a button written subscribe it is in black hit that magical button and then on the left there is a like button like this hit those two magical buttons all right and turn that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a good new video all right so anyway let's get into this business without wasting much of your time all right so just like I said, there are only three logical ways on how you can apply and get yourself out of what we call, you know, like the comfort zone or you want to get yourself into what we call the financial freedom. And option number one, of course, this one has been out there. And by the way, this information that I'm going to share with you, it has been there or it has been applicable like for the last 1,000 years. It will be there in future for another 1,000 of years. It has never changed, all right? So number one, of course, you know, if you're born out of a privileged family, you don't have to really work hard, but of course you have to engage discipline and such kind of a thing. If you're born out of uh, what we call like a blessed family, should I say, and you have a, a, you know, a laid foundation, a already established foundation, only what you need to do is be a disciplined person, pick up from where it was left for you, and then bring it up and grow yourself to that level. Some of the guys, you realize that they get themselves born out of these kind of families, but some of them actually are so smart, they can actually pick up from where it was left and then they multiply exactly what was left and grow themselves to the next level. Others are not so quite smart to do so. The others are just left that property for them and then they squander everything and then they go back to square zero. So you realize one thing, there is nothing you can do about choosing where you can be born from. I always tell people, number one, there's two things that you can never, uh, there are one thing that you can never choose. Number one, you can never, two things that you can never choose actually in life. Number one, you can never choose where to be born from. That is a fact. And number two, you can never choose your neighbor. So those two things, if you can't control them, then control the controllables and do what you can be able to do it. All right. So you cannot be able to choose where to be born from, but rest assured, you can be able to choose where you can retire to. So the point is this, if you got born from a place whereby there is a privilege, there is something that you can inherit from or there is a foundation, at least a little bit of a foundation. You may not be such wealthy where you're born from, but there is a little bit of a foundation you can pick up from there and then grow yourself. Say you never born out of that kind of an environment. Say you never actually have a family of, of parents who actually born you out of such kind of environment. Some of them are struggling and actually relying on you instead of you relying on them in your or for their support. This is what I want you to do. Sometimes you, what you need to do is engage on the skills that you have and the education that you got or any other factors that you have out there, such as talents and what have you. So that number one, like that option of you being rich, that may not favor like everyone who is watching this video. That's why we go to option number two. And this option number two, I always like saying, if you want to be rich in this life, just be a politician or just be a not a straight person. For example, if you engage yourself in things and activities that are not okay, like where you're like sort of coming people or something, like you're stealing from people and such kind of a things, that gets to you, but there's something that you're supposed to understand. If you do not get your wealth in a good foundation, definitely it's like building your house on like loose sands and at the end of the day, that thing will collapse at the end of the time. So this is the fact. If you can get yourself in such a, maybe like a politician or something of sort, like those are the shortest ways on how you can actually grow your wealth. Irrespective of whichever country that you come from, you have to understand one thing. These politicians, they are the people who actually go out there and make it look like as if getting rich is quite a simple thing. We expect a lot from them and like them supporting us, like building highways and what have you, just the basic needs. But who are they? They don't even do exactly that. What they do, they get in, they squander money, they enrich themselves, they just fly on choppers whenever they 
there is a traffic jam and what have you and then they reach themselves and move to the next level the other set of people who tend to use this kind of means are like thieves the burglars and what have you the scammers and what have you these are the guys who do not want to call, to toe the line and use the appropriate route for them to get rich or get what we call the financial freedom what they opt to do is to look for that shortcut and then at the end of the day they get themselves into that place but there's something that i've realized with this kind of life you find like yes you may get yourself like some money and something of sort but doesn't have that good foundation whereby you can actually leave that properties to the generations and the generations so what i would advise this is an option that i don't even want you to think about it i do not support it in one way or the other but the point is this it's an option that people usually go out and use it out there of which is not good and that is why in the entire world in entire nations we are having ourselves into crisis just look at what is happening in sudan as we, as we speak right now you find that there's a crisis like there's sort of a who you know in some of the countries they the destabilizes and such kind of a thing it's all because people tend to be selfish and actually pull a lot of resources towards them in rather than them caring about the larger population because there is a philosophy that says that over 85 percent of people are willing to be followers or they are ready to be followers and 10 percent there are people who are called creators and they are the one who take advantage of the 85 percent meaning they can be able to enrich themselves and grow wealthy using the 85 percent who are willing to be followers so that's the point and now the other five percent are people who we call like the observers they know exactly what is going on they realize or they understand exactly who, how how the 10 percent are actually taking advantage of the 85 percent so that they can reach themselves so these are the people like we call them like uh, they are the whistleblowers and what kind of you all right so at that particular point tells you like exactly engaging yourself in this second option it's never a good option i would never advise it it's not a good way to go about when you want to grow yourself in terms of wealth now what you are left with is the last option and this is the best option and actually can be applicable to anyone who is out there probably this is the po point that you've been waiting for and want to get to get exactly what kind of this option or this way that you can actually apply and get yourself to that what i call the financial freedom and this option is none other than I bet you guessed it right. That is hard working. There is no shortcut in life. That's for sure. And I always love to tell people that well has never been an event. It's always a process. You have to get yourself out there. Sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you're not feeling like you want to work. But at the end of the day, you have to do so. And I always say, you don't have to do things because you feel them. You have to do things because they ought to be done. And that is a fact. And working hard has never been substituted from you being successful in life. And I understand sometimes people may say like fully working hard may not get yourself in to riches at times is yes and at times is no but there was, there's one thing that I, I understand as far as this life is concerned there is something that you need as much as of, on top of you working hard there is something called luck and that's why i always say like a success is always an intersection between a luck and a hard work can you imagine this what if you get hit by a luck but you're a lazy person you never exploit that like to its full potential and turn it to your own benefit. Number two, you can actually get yourself a hardworking person, but you never get luck. So you may not be able to actually realize your full potential. So at that particular point, you realize that as much as you want to work hard, there is another grace that you need on top of that for you to grow yourself out there. Because some of the people who are actually very wealthy make a lot of money each and every day. They are people who don't really like work hard as you may think for example take a very simple example take an example of guys who do work in like um, construction industry the masonry as in what have you you find these people don't earn a lot of money in a single day but you find somebody who's sitting somewhere in a couch or maybe not really a couch but in an office or something or guys just makes call in a private jet and makes a lot of money in terms of money let me tell you one secret it never starts with smart work it all starts with hard work it starts with hard work then you progress make yourself a foundation now at that particular foundation, you can leverage on it or what we call, uh, you can just, uh, what we call, you can scale that specific investment and then a particular point now you can be able to actually earn more money. Take this example, I always tell people, each and every one individual on earth, they always have 24 hours. But how you utilize your 24 hours, that will differentiate a person A from person B. There is nothing you can do with you extending the number of hours you have. All what you can be able to do is to do multiple of things using the same 24 hours and earn much. For example, take an example who walks up in the morning and goes to an office says an HR or an accountant or anything or so 
or sort. Let's say that individual earns like 2K each and every day. That means that individual, his or her income is fixed to a 2,000 each and every day. And at the end of the day, at the evening, whether he or she underworks or overworks at the end of the day, they will get 2,000, meaning their income is fixed. So that's like 60,000 at the end of the month. So the point is this, you find like, that is like doing the same thing continuously and expecting miracles. Unless you save, invest somewhere and create another stream of income, then you're going to get yourself into that kind of a life we call the hand to mouth or rat race. Or what you can be able to do is to what the rich and the which, what what the rich and the wealthy does is or do is to you know make sure that they do a lot of things using the same same time that you guys have, and that's why you find they are good at delegating some responsibilities. I'll give you a very simple example. There was a certain lady who was operating a salon and she was good at making hair, plating hair in what have you. So what she could do, she could maybe let's say charge a single head at 3,500. If she was capable, like, like, okay, there is a feasible number of heads that that specific lady can handle. Say like she handles like five of them per day or let's say five, it's a quite a more. Let's say like she handles like three of them. That's basically like 7,500 in a single day. But she works a lot. That's a good money anyway in Kenya. But, but my point is this. What if she was to delegate some of the responsibilities? What if she was to employ some other guys, other ladies who are good at like are good at making hair just like her? And then at that particular point, now what she does is that whatever that amount of money is made by another guy who has employed there or she has employed there, then they have that amount. Like she gets like 17 something and the other one gets the 17 something. So that means that she, she can be able to employ like four of them and each of them makes like two heads or something then that means plus whatever she's making now you've actually done what we call the scalability that's what we call scaling and that's the only way you can be able to do more things within the duration of 24 hours and get more results actually more than you just doing that specific thing at your own self all right so at that particular point you are supposed to understand is that it is good to actually employ what we call the good skills when it comes to running your specific business. And option number three is the best, is what I'd advise you to go for because that is the most important thing. Otherwise, if you think of any other two, if you're born lucky, then you can pick for them. But the second one, I don't advise that one. Just ignore, you can say it. But this third one, pick it up and utilize it and you're going to get yourself somewhere. All right. So if you're out there, you'd like to talk to me or maybe about the business consultation and guidance and what have you, I offer those services. You can give me a call my number i'll leave it on the description of this specific video down below there you can give me a call or perhaps you're out there you'd like to get something we call the booklets of investments business ideas business plans i have like tens and tens of business plans ready for you so if you want to pick any of those then contact me using the same number and you get your copy for yourself and by the way for now it's a goodbye but don't forget make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more videos and for more gigs to come ahead all right so 